Stimulants Stimulants increase alertness and energy by enhancing brain activity. They are used to treat ADHD and narcolepsy, but can be addictive and cause side effects like increased heart rate and anxiety. Depressants Depressants slow down brain activity, promoting relaxation and sleep. They include alcohol and benzodiazepines. Overuse can lead to dependence and dangerous respiratory depression. Opioids Opioids relieve pain and can cause euphoria. They include prescription drugs like oxycodone and illegal substances like heroin. They have a high risk of addiction and overdose. Hallucinogens Hallucinogens cause changes in perception, leading to visual or auditory hallucinations. Examples include LSD and magic mushrooms. They can affect mood and cognition, sometimes causing anxiety or paranoia. Cannabinoid Cannabinoids found in cannabis include THC and CBD. THC causes a high, while CBD is used for therapeutic purposes. They are used recreationally and medicinally but can impair cognitive function. Antidepressants Antidepressants treat depression by altering neurotransmitter levels. Types include SSRIs and SNRIs. They can improve mood but may have side effects like weight gain and increased suicidal thoughts. Antipsychotics Antipsychotics treat symptoms of psychosis in conditions like schizophrenia. They can have side effects such as weight gain and drowsiness. Anxiolytics Anxiolytics, such as benzodiazepines, reduce anxiety. They are effective for short-term use but can lead to dependence. Antibiotics Antibiotics treat bacterial infections. They do not work on viruses and should be used cautiously to avoid antibiotic resistance. Antivirals Antivirals treat viral infections like influenza and HIV. They help control the virus but do not cure the infection. Antifungals Antifungals treat fungal infections. They come in topical and oral forms and can have side effects, including liver damage. Antihistamines Antihistamines relieve allergy symptoms by blocking histamine. Some can cause drowsiness while others are non-sedating. Painkillers Painkillers, or analgesics, relieve pain. They range from over-the-counter options like acetaminophen to stronger prescription opioids. Misuse can lead to side effects including liver damage or addiction. Steroids Steroids, including corticosteroids and anabolic steroids, reduce inflammation or promote muscle growth. They can have significant side effects like weakened immunity or hormonal imbalances when misused. Diuretics Diuretics help remove excess fluid from the body by increasing urine production. They are often used to treat high blood pressure and edema. Potential side effects include dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. Anticoagulants Anticoagulants, or blood thinners, prevent blood clots. They are used in conditions like atrial fibrillation and deep vein thrombosis. They must be carefully managed to avoid excessive bleeding. Vaccines Vaccines stimulate the immune system to protect against infectious diseases. They are a key component of public health, preventing illnesses like measles and influenza. Antiemetics Antiemetics prevent or alleviate nausea and vomiting. They are commonly used during chemotherapy surgery or for motion sickness. Immunosuppressants Immunosuppressants reduce the activity of the immune system. They are used in organ transplantation and autoimmune diseases but increase the risk of infections. Bronchodilators Bronchodilators relax muscles around the airways, making breathing easier for people with respiratory conditions like asthma and COPD. Contraceptives Contraceptives prevent pregnancy. They include oral pills, implants and intrauterine devices aids. They also help manage hormonal imbalances and menstrual disorders. Statins Statins lower cholesterol levels in the blood, reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. They are generally well tolerated but can cause muscle pain and liver enzyme changes. Antidiabetic drugs Antidiabetic drugs help control blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. They include insulin and oral medications. Managing dosage and diet is crucial to avoid hypoglycemia. Antihypertensives Antihypertensives lower high blood pressure. They include ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers.
Side effects can vary depending on the medication class. Antimalarials Antimalarials prevent and treat malaria. They are critical in areas where the disease is prevalent. Common drugs include chloroquine and artemisinin-based therapies. Cough suppressants Cough suppressants reduce the urge to cough. They are often used for dry, irritating coughs and should not be used when coughing up mucus is necessary for clearing airways. Decongestants Decongestants relieve nasal congestion by narrowing blood vessels in the nasal passages. They are available as oral medications or nasal sprays and should be used cautiously to avoid rebound congestion. The laxatives Laxatives relieve constipation by stimulating bowel movements. They should be used with caution to avoid dependency and electrolyte imbalances. Antacids Antacids neutralize stomach acid, providing relief from heartburn and indigestion. They are available over-the-counter but should not be used long-term without medical advice. Muscle relaxants Muscle relaxants alleviate muscle spasms and discomfort. They are commonly prescribed for conditions like back pain and fibromyalgia. Antiparasitics Antiparasitics treat infections caused by parasites, such as worms and protozoa. They are essential in managing diseases like malaria, giardiasis, and scabies. Antivirals Antivirals combat viral infections by inhibiting the virus's ability to replicate. They are used for diseases like herpes, hepatitis, and HIV. These drugs can reduce symptoms and the duration of illness but often require careful management to prevent resistance. Sedatives Sedatives calm the nervous system, inducing sleep or reducing agitation. They are used for insomnia, anxiety, and before medical procedures. Common sedatives include benzodiazepines and barbiturates. Overuse can lead to dependence and withdrawal symptoms. Anticonvulsants Anticonvulsants prevent or reduce the frequency of seizures in conditions like epilepsy. They stabilize nerve activity in the brain. These medications can also be used to treat mood disorders and chronic pain. Anti-inflammatory drugs Anti-inflammatory drugs, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and corticosteroids, reduce inflammation and pain. They are used for conditions like arthritis, allergies, and autoimmune diseases. Long-term use can have side effects like gastrointestinal issues or increased infection risk. Antifibrinolytics Antifibrinolytics help prevent excessive bleeding by promoting blood clotting. They are used during surgery, in trauma cases, and for bleeding disorders like hemophilia. Expectorants Expectorants thin mucus in the airways, making it easier to cough up. They are used in treating conditions with thick mucus like bronchitis or a common cold. Hormone Replacement Therapy HRT HRT involves supplementing hormones like estrogen and progesterone, often used during menopause. It can alleviate symptoms like hot flashes and osteoporosis but has associated risks, including cardiovascular disease and certain cancers. Antiprotozole Drugs Antiprotozole drugs treat infections caused by protozoa, such as amoebiasis and trichomoniasis. These medications are crucial in managing diseases prevalent in tropical regions. Antacives Antitusives suppress the cough reflex, providing relief from persistent, dry coughs. They are often combined with other medications and cold remedies, but should be used with caution to avoid masking serious conditions. Antifungals Antifungals treat fungal infections affecting the skin, nails, and internal organs. They include topical creams, oral medications, and intravenous treatments. Proper use is essential to avoid resistance and ensure effectiveness. Antimycobacterials Antimycobacterials target mycobacterial infections, including tuberculosis and leprosy. They require long-term treatment and careful monitoring to prevent resistance. Antiglaucoma medications Antiglaucoma medications reduce intraocular pressure to prevent damage to the optic nerve, a key treatment for glaucoma. They come in various forms, including eye drops and oral medications. Antihyperlipidemic agents Antihyperlipidemic agents lower lipid levels in the blood, particularly cholesterol and triglycerides. They help prevent cardiovascular diseases and include statins, fibrates, and niacin. Antihyperglycemics Antihyperglycemics manage high blood sugar levels in diabetes. 
They include medications like metformin and sulfonylureas, which help the body use insulin more effectively or increase insulin production. Immunomodulators Immunomodulators adjust the immune response, either enhancing it to fight infections or suppressing it to prevent autoimmune reactions. They are used in conditions like multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Anticholinergics Anticholinergics block the action of acetylcholine in the nervous system, helping to reduce spasms in smooth muscles. They are used to treat conditions like asthma, COPD, and irritable bowel syndrome. Anesthetics Anesthetics induce a loss of sensation or consciousness, allowing medical procedures to be performed without pain. They include local anesthetics which numb specific areas and general anesthetics which induce full unconsciousness. Or thrombolytics Thrombolytics dissolve blood clots, used in emergency situations like heart attacks and strokes. They can restore blood flow but must be administered promptly and carry a risk of bleeding. Chelating agents Chelating agents bind to heavy metals in the body, allowing them to be excreted. They are used in cases of poisoning by metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic. In conclusion, understanding different types of drugs, their uses, benefits, and potential risks is crucial for safe and effective use. Whether used for medical purposes or otherwise, it is essential to approach all drugs with caution and awareness of their potential effects on the body and mind. Remember to consult healthcare professionals for guidance and to use medications responsibly. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.